Right, and as we said, round six of polling has begun at seven o'clock this morning. 117 constituencies casting their vote for the Lok Sabha seat. Uh, in, for uh, 117 Lok Sabha seats as we had in these elections, over 18 crore voters across 11 states and the Union Territory of Pondicherry as well will be able to vote in the sixth of the nine phase elections today. There are 2,076 candidates, uh, we, as we are showing you on our screen, celebrities and politicians alike going early in the morning to cast their vote. Mulayam Singh Yadav at his polling station in Sefai in Mainpuri in Uttar Pradesh where we'll uh, be uh, joining our reporter Anand Zanan on the ground. Rajni Kant, uh, always uh, sort of a senior and uh, strong voice in Tamil Nadu, whether it's in the field of art or politics as well. Many others, Anil Ambani also on your screen going to go and uh, uh, cast his vote in Mumbai, several others. As we said, we had uh, in Mumbai Anil Ambani going to cast his vote at the polling station in Mumbai. Right, big constituencies also voting in uh, West Bengal and Assam, Jangipur in uh, West Bengal and Kokrajhar in Assam in Jangipur uh, polling has begun at 7 o'clock in the morning. It is a constituency where Abhijit Mukherjee, uh, the, prime, the president's son, is actually contesting. He is the incumbent MP from there as well right now from West Bengal. And in Kokrajhar as well where there has been you know, recently uh, violence in 2012. In August 2012, uh, ethnic clashes between Bodos and uh, the Muslim population, local Muslim population, Bengali speaking in Assam's Kokrajhar district, they will be going to the polls as well today. Now, Mumbai is seeing many prestige battles today in this election. Polling is being held in 19 seats across Maharashtra. Six of them in Mumbai, all of them held by the Congress or its ally, the NCP. Important candidates in the fray are the Union Minister Milan Deora from Mumbai South, Priya Dutt from Mumbai North Central, Gurudas Kamath from Mumbai Northwest. The Aam Admi Party has put several candidates in the fray. Medha Patkar, the activist from Mumbai Northeast, Meera Sanyal, the former banker in Mumbai South as well. My colleague Tejas Mehta now joins us from Mumbai for more. Tejas, um, many of course looking at the Mumbai elections because it's always, it's always important to see who wins in big urban centres across the country. But more importantly, I think this time the question really is whether the Aam Aadmi Party will be able to uh, sort of reach, make its footprint reach beyond Delhi. They're, they are an urban party from what everybody has reported, but how strong are their chances in Mumbai? Well, to be really honest, uh, Mumbai is extremely different from Delhi. In Delhi, you had only one alternative, either the BJP or the Congress. But here, you have several parties. You have the BJP, you have the Shiv Sena, now you have the MNS. And to try and make the, make an entry inside, you know, such a, uh, you know, uh, well-spread out political, you know, arena becomes extremely difficult for any new party especially and therefore the impact in Mumbai uh, seems to be limited but of course Medha Patkar is somebody who is a well-known face uh, she is contesting from Mumbai Northeast which is largely seen uh, you know in the huge slump pocket and and the sitting MP from the NCP uh, Sanjay Patil is uh, is rated to be the worst uh, performing MP in Maharashtra by the Association of Democratic Reform so she does uh, stand a chance then outside chance given the fact that Kirit Somaya last time around just lost by 2,000 votes and uh, with the anti-incumbency coming into uh, focus and sharp focus this time around, the chances of him being a favourite are much, much more. But beyond that, of course, the question is the key issues of Mumbai, overcrowded trains, poor infrastructure, uh, you have uh, tra all perennial traffic jams, uh, dilapidated buildings, extremely expensive housing. These are issues which have been there for more than 15, 20 years now and our, our member of parliaments have simply not been able to uh, solve this you know, beyond a, a really you know, substantial, substantial extent. Secondly, also Mumbai has you know, seen extremely poor voting uh, you know, right through the years. In 2009, it was just about 41.5%. Now, that is 
absolutely ridiculously low especially you know uh, tony suburbs like uh, south malabar hill uh, even bandra some pockets of bandra where i am just now and sachin tendulkar is supposed to come a uh, right vote behind me we are of course waiting for him but all these places have not really voted and now bollywood uh, you know is 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 half there half not here you have many of the stars who have gone to uh, uh, you know to florida in us for the for the ifa awards you have shabana azmi and mp uh, you know javed akhtar who are such great uh, you know tv debaters they talk they're social activists they themselves are not here now in fact their son farhan akhtar is also uh, scheduled to go to the us but he has stayed back today he is voting and only then is he going saif ali khan karina kapoor shahid shahid kapoor uh, rithik roshan um, uh, sonakshi sinha many of them have simply uh, flown away so what happens to the issues of mumbai is mumbai really politically is so you know so a political in that sense that he can't come out to vote once in 5 years we'll have to wait and watch what really happens today but also in many other pockets the mns and the right. shiv sena a huge fight between them given the fact that they are of course uh, the, the same voter base right. but it's a it's a it's a fight for the bjp and the and the shiv sena a right. fight for their honor to regain some lost ground given the fact that they've lost all six seats here in mumbai right. maya this is a new raise a very important point just now not just the political class but bollywood and mumbai celebrities who sort of become the voices we go to from time to time whenever there are issues whether it's crimes against women whether it's corruption uh, they come out as spokes people as representatives of a public voice the aam aadmi so to speak and yet when it comes to the crunch how disconnected are they from the political process uh, we're looking at uh, poll percentages in the last few phases and certainly an increase in the number of people coming out to cast their vote some commitment uh, is is indicated in those figures now in mumbai given given that it's still early right now polls have opened only about an hour ago uh, any sign that forget the celebrities amongst the general public there is some enthusiasm to take part in these polls Well, the number of uh, first-time voters has increased by about uh, you know 10 to 15 lakhs this time round. So there seems to be some sort of you know swell as far as the first-time voters' registrations are concerned. Uh, it, in fact, I went to vote uh, early in the morning, and I, I had quite a line there. I had to wait for at least about 10-15 minutes before I could get my turn to vote. So uh, it did seem uh, quite unusual because I've always gone early in the morning, and uh, many very often they have hasn't been such a long line. But coming back to Bollywood, you know, you as I've been pointing out. Shaban Azmi and Javed Akhtar, Javed Akhtar and MP too, both have been so vocal, you know, on on these uh, crucial and critical issues which Mumbai faces, which India faces. Uh, both have been a, a very prominent on television debates. But when it comes to you know the, the crunch, as you are saying, they are not there. But to be honest, on the other side, you have Shah Rukh Khan, Amir Khan, uh, who did Satyam Eva Jaya. You have Amitabh the Bachchans. you know uh, they are all going to be here in mumbai they will be voting uh, vidya balan is going to vote there uh, so they will be they are doing their bit at least to ensure that you know the message goes right that yes we have our, our you know uh, our commitments our contracts with uh, ifa whatever they want to call it because that's one reason saif ali khan said that i can't really you know cancel my contract that will you know really have i'll have repercussions because of that but these stars also could have really gone there the senior stars they have chosen to stay back and give that message that yes voting is important not important for which party but come out and vote and that's exactly what mumbai would hope today to reach beyond the figure of 41.5% and ensure that at least you reach a reasonably respectable figure somewhere around 60% that's what you know many other uh, you know districts in maharashtra have clocked in the first and second phases well districts in maharashtra certainly but also urban centers i mean we are looking at rising poll figures Uh, voting percentages all across India's big cities as well. We're being joined also by uh, Mohideepa Banerjee from West Bengal. But before we go to her, Imtiaz Jalil joining us from Mumbai South, where uh, Milind Deora is taking on uh, a very prominent former banker, Meera Sanyal, uh, who is contesting for the Aam Aadmi Party. Milind, what's it looking like for both these candidates? Uh, Imtiaz, what's it looking like for both these candidates? Sorry. <laughs> 
Well, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you that it's going to be a folk honor contest uh, in uh, South, South Mumbai. Milan Devra, who had contested from year two times, he had won from year two times. He's contesting for the third time against uh, him. Bala Nandgaonkar of the MNS, Arvind Savant of the Shiv Sena, and Meera Sanyal of the Aam Admi Party. This happens to be the richest constituency. The who's who of India live in South Mumbai. The corporate India lives here, and that is the reason why we saw Anil Ambani was among the first voters uh, here at this uh, polling booth where I am standing here at Kaf Parade. But what do the people of these constituencies are expecting from the new MP? What are your expectations from your new MP? A change, definitely. Uh, more industrialization, better roads, better facilities which we are lacking, better road conditions, and we want a change. Sir, uh, it's very ironical that the educated people live here in South Mumbai, corporate India lives here. In spite of that, in every elections, what we had noticed was a dismal voting percentage from South Mumbai. In 2009, it was just about 40%. This time around, are you expecting that the percentage will go up? Yes, definitely. definitely. I think definitely. we are all motivated. There is more awareness. Even the youngsters are quite agile. My whole family is going to be out here to vote. So you also I'm feel sure. the same? I feel the same because the youngsters they have taken it to heart to see that they should they will vote and make bring a change in the society. So what do you think has been the most important issue in this election? In this election, development is the most important. And the media has uh, given more awareness to all the voters. So voters are now uh, aware of their right and they will definitely vote. So percentage will be more this time. It, it may be change or it may be the old MPs. But they are now working very hard. They are going to work very hard. Okay. So the, here, the voters of uh, South Mumbai expecting that the voting percentage, which was a dismal, a pathetic, just 40% in the 2009 elections, will go up. And as these gentlemen are saying, people want change. There has been a lot of awareness among the voters, especially the young voters. We have seen the aged people, the response so far in just about an hour of the voting. The response has been very encouraging here and hope the momentum goes the same way throughout the day.